Okay, this is a demonstration of the normal operation of the Internet Model Railroad. I've already logged in. The login is merely to prevent people from stepping on each other, just so you know somebody's logged in. It's a courtesy thing. There's no password at this time. Okay, basically the first thing it provides is a camera control. You, select, you can select camera one as the default, looks down the south straight. You can select camera two as an overhead camera. It can be panned with the camera two pan control to look at whatever you want to look at on the layout. Camera three looks down the north straight, looks at the crossover switch, basically. Let me go back to camera one. Down here below the camera controls, you have the track voltage, the track milliamps, the tear load with no locomotives running is 57 milliamps, and that will uh, increase as I operate locomotives. Machine vision is the horizontal and vertical coordination coordinates, excuse me, of locomotive B on the layout. And derived from that, it tells you where locomotive B is on the layout. Right now it says locomotive B, south straight. That is the south straight right there. Over here, in the, on the locomotive control console, I can control the direction, forward reverse of locomotive A and locomotive B. Just a quick demo. Locomotive A and forward, speed 3. Locomotive A will start forward. If I select reverse, it will say reverse down there. And it will back up in speed 3, and I can stop it again about where it was. The loop switches. The loop switch basically allows the locomotive on the outer loop to transition to the inner loop via a crossover loop, a crossover here that's visible. It's right over here. It's all on the layout. It's also visible in camera three. Okay, if I uh, normally it's straight through. If I put connect loops, you can see it just. You can see the actual track move. This allows locomotive on the inner inner loop to transition to the outer loop, and so on. Okay, the sighting switch. Is right there. It allows the locomotive to transition to the sighting. Normally, it's straight through. A locomotive coming around this way will go that way. If I connect it, you can see it move in the video. The locomotive will go off on the sighting and in, over in, in the area where the station is. The light is not currently working, and the machine vision starts the locomotive. Starts locomotive B on its automatic program trip, which is shown in another video. And that's the basics of the controls. Thank you for watching.